Hey y'all, just wanted to share this amazing online tool called Palette that takes black and white photos and colorizes them automatically using AI. As most of you know, going from color to black and white has always been easy. Black and white to color, on the other hand, has always been a lot more difficult. Palette was created by Emil Wallner, a Swedish machine learning researcher. The name of his website is palette.fm. This is all done online. There's no software to download. You don't need an account and it's 100% completely free. After playing around with it for a few days, it's quite impressive. Using a deep learning model, it guesses the colors of objects in the image. Most of the time, in my experience, it's accurate and will continue to get better over time. It's simple to use. The first of two examples of how to use it will be an outdoor photo of a golf course with a mountain background, and after that, a photo of a famous person in history. There's a couple ways you can upload an image. You could click on the Upload Image button to find the photo on your drive. Or the easiest way is to drag and drop the file onto the page. It'll first upload your image and analyze it, trying to figure out the colorization options based on the objects seen in the photo. Then for the base palette, it'll generate the colorization. As you can see, this looks very realistic as compared to the black and white photo. The colors turned out quite well. When you hover your cursor over the image, it'll show you what it thinks it sees in the photo based on its initial analysis. The text that generated says, a stock photo of land, vent, park, brush, storm, graphics, mountaintop, and snow. Small contrasting details in color and color film. Along the top, there's other filters you can play around with using the data it extracted from the original black and white photo using different text. Let's try one out. Let's go with colorful memories to see what that looks like. That one actually looks better than the base palette. Let's take a look at the text used for this one. Not a whole lot of changes here. See the word golf has been added. Instead of small contrasting details in color, it says small contrasting details in fresh colors, eye popping color, and instead of in-color film, it says anamorphic. You can also see the auto-generated text prompts by clicking the edit icon here on the right. You can change the text prompts easily inside of the edit box. Let's get rid of eye-popping color and anamorphic. I'll add HDR to make the colors more vibrant and early sunrise. Then click on colorize. If you don't like the changes that were made, click the Undo Changes icon. When you click on Surprise Me, you'll get a random set of text prompts based on your original black and white photo. That one didn't turn out so well, so let's undo that. To get back to the filters, click on the Filter button. Now for our second example. Colorizing of people in black and white photos is really cool in how it can most often guess the hair color, the color of clothes, etc. The one I'll be doing now in this example is of Albert Einstein. On this screen to add a photo, click on New here at the bottom, or as we did before, drag and drop the image onto the web page. Doing this on your own, at any time, if you're happy with the colorized image, to save it to your computer, click download here at the bottom of the screen, give it a name, then click on save. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you have as much fun as I did using Palette. I put the link to the website in the description. Let us know in the comments how you plan to use this or how your experience has been so far. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe and click the bell to find out about the newest tech tools and other tech-related stuff right here on Tech Gumbo.